video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come see my recital. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the pieces today, and this will be the first of a couple of video intermissions. Um, the piece you just heard is Searching by Matthew Cowan. Matt was a, is a good friend of mine and was a former teacher, and I really thought that he could contribute to the snare drum repertoire world by adding elements of rudimental playing as well as uh, expanding the timbral palette of the snare drum. And I, I hope you agree that he did a fantastic job and I'm so honored to be able to both premiere that work and to show it to you all today. The next piece you're about to see is Bad Touch by Casey Candelosi. It is a piece that revolves all around gesture. It is just for one drumstick and a bunch of different hand motions and facial expressions. And it combines theatrics and movement with an audio track to create a new sort of music. And that, that type of piece has really inspired me in the last couple months to pursue more gestural based pieces. With gesture, I think you can incorporate a wholly new element to music. So much of music is inherently aural, but when you can see a performance, it gives another layer of engagement for the audience. And I really want to take the time now in my studies here and going forward to explore that, implement that as best as I can to my playing and to really bring it to audiences everywhere. So you'll see a couple of examples throughout this recital where I incorporate gesture and even dance into the performance. In addition to gesture and movement, I've been really fascinated this past year with theatrical percussion and just other particularly visual art forms and aspects that inform a musical performance. And Le Corps Corps is such a great piece to show that. It is for the Iranian Tombak and speaking percussionist performer. Um, there, there's a lot of acting and sort of like schizophrenic character changes that I'm able to try to embody in this performance. This particular performance is in French, or at least it tries to be. Um, there will be a English performance to hit my YouTube channel soon. So if you're interested in that, please feel free to uh, follow me on Instagram or Facebook to see when that goes up, uh, as well as many of the other pieces will go up individually. Anyway, thank you for coming to this recital, and I hope you enjoy. here in front of me right now. Watch. It's here. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? 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 Him before he managed to kill me. He tried, but he failed miserably. 
Ужасно издат. I can't tell you about it. If you can't see it, then you'll just never know it. Thank you. 
sur le train, j'ai perdu peut-être des heures en plus plus loin que j'avais pratiqué toute la dernière fois encore. As a musician and has become a real passion that I want to pursue in addition to all the gestural based stuff I talked about before. This recital focuses on two chamber works, one of which I arranged and another which I've been playing for basically since I arrived at Southern Oregon University. Um, Crossroads by Ivan Trevino is the first one and that is just this raucous marimba cajon piece with some really lovely moments in there too. And the second one is a piece from a video game that I really uh, loved in the past couple of years called Hollow Knight. Um, the, the music is fantastic. It goes way beyond what most people think video game music can do. And uh, it lends itself really well to percussion instruments. So I have arranged four pieces for vibraphone and marimba 
you'll just hear one today called Dirt Mouth, but I think you'll understand why these pieces work so well for our instruments. Thank you. 
Finally, I want to express a couple of finishing thoughts for the program. First, it all kind of ties back into the pandemic. The whole reason that I'm doing this virtual recital the way I'm doing it is because most of the repertoire I had planned fell through the cracks due to social distancing and not being able to really meet in person with any of my fellow chamber musicians. I had a whole list of chamber pieces I was going to play for you all, but alas, we couldn't really do that. So the only thing I got to really do was take a vibraphone home. And I've always wanted to really explore the vibraphone, get, get to know it as an in instrument, but I've often been so focused on marimba repertoire that I haven't had the excuse to really dive into it. And I'm sort of thankful for the pandemic for giving me that excuse because I fell in love with this instrument. Um, so much so that I'm currently waiting for my own to come in the mail because it, it's there's so much that hasn't been done for the vibraphone yet. And there's so much that it can do that I felt it necessary to an extent to branch out and, and really find the limits of the instrument. And that's a long journey. I don't expect to do any of that in these, uh, this short year, but I've, I've made steps in trying to bring about vibraphone repertoire and seeing what it can do. So what you're going to hear in this segment is a piece called Five O'Clock Waltz by Christina Spinet, which is originally a harp or piano solo, but fit the range of the vibraphone so well that I figured I'd give it a try. And Christina is a dance composer, which is how I found her. Because of that, she writes in a way that lends itself well to dance. So knowing that, I picked up the piece and I knew I wanted to put dance into my presentation of Five O'Clock Waltz. And thankfully, I put a call out to um, any dancers I might know, and I found the Rosalind Movement Duo, who just so happened to, uh, I went to high school with one of the members, uh, Jimmy Banks. So serendipitously, I, I found this duo that has really brought this piece to life, and I, I know you guys are going to love it too. Um, what else am I playing? Finishing off, I have This Too Shall Pass by Ivan Trevenian. When the pandemic first hit and I had a vibraphone, I knew that I had to play some vibraphone rep for a while. So I did some digging and found this piece entitled This Too Shall Pass within two weeks of the pandemic kind of starting, lockdown starting. And I was like, wow, that's really poignant <laughs> for what's happening right now. I, I have to include this somehow. So this is kind of a rather old recording of This Too Shall Pass from early days of the pandemic, but it seemed like a fitting way to end this virtual recital and remind all of us that this too shall pass and we will move on and we'll grow and we'll learn from the mistakes and we'll adapt as we have all across the world for situations like this. And before I leave, I want to thank uh, many people for helping this whole process in this year um, go as smoothly as it can. First, I would like to thank um, Dr. Terry Longshore for his mentorship and his patience through all of my changing ideas and concepts and programs and he's been nothing but kind, compassionate, and caring throughout the whole process. I want to thank um, Oregon Center for the Arts and everyone here for giving me the opportunities and the means to present this to a, a wider audience than I would normally be able to. Um, that, that means so much to me as a developing artist that I, I really want to say my appreciation for that. I want to thank Letizia Penn for being with me through these hard times. Um, she's really made it not as hard, not hard at all. Um, and finally, I want to thank uh, Left Edge Percussion for bo both last year and this year's iteration.
for their warm family feelings and, and laughing with me, joking with me, just being cool, cool people. So thank you everyone for all your support. And if I, if I missed thanking you, I promise I'll thank you in person. I'll, I'll just spend the next month thanking people. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day once again to watch this recital. I hope you're here with me during the virtual premiere, uh, typing with me in the chat. But if you're seeing this at a later time, thank you anyway. I really appreciate it.
Thank you.